Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Talking Pittsburgh. Join your day for the brand new year. We got CC back from Parks and Recreation on a very busy day. CC, uh, how are you doing? You know, we're good over in Park and Rec, but yes, we are busy because Park Shelter reservations for this upcoming season opened today. So if anybody has a graduation party coming up or a birthday party or something else that you need a Park Shelter reservation for, give us a call because weekends do go fast. I will say we had our uh, uh, winter event uh, at the Hugo Jamestown Park Shelter. That shelter is so awesome. Uh, it's the second time I've been there for an event. Uh, and uh, it is just nicely, nicely laid out uh, and uh, works well. But all of our park shelters are uh, well kept and uh, ready for you to uh, enjoy any type of event, right? That's right. Graduations, birthday parties, celebrations of life, everything. It's great. On a beautiful Celebration Sunday, of life. What can, what I like can it. Ask for? <laughs> we do. We get a lot of really nice groups. That's that cool. Come. That's yeah. really cool. Uh, all right. Uh, well, uh, we now we know that's going. Uh, let's talk about some uh, fun uh, events coming up. Uh, fly tying uh, coming up. Beginners and intermediate. Uh, what do you got? Yeah, we got a couple more spots available in this free course. So if you want to get into fly fishing, don't know where to start, come join our class. It's going to teach you how to do some basic lures for fly fishing. That's pretty crazy. Free, 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 you say. Yeah, the only thing you might need to pay for is a little bit of equipment, some string, maybe some pliers. Um, there's a list that we provide. Um, you can maybe find some of it at home that you already own, or you can buy one of a beginner kit. There you go. Well, it's a good way to get started. Uh, if you're interested in esports, uh, this is just blowing up. I uh, see you here uh, back for uh, some more fun. Uh, tell us about the uh, esport leagues. Yeah, we've got quite a few people signed up, ready to compete um mario kart madden 23 fortnite rocket league super smash bros so we've got uh all different kind of consoles and all different kind of games so if you want to maybe win some prizes and compete against people in the in the region sign up and this is safe for kids uh, so it's uh different age groups here uh, as listed but uh th this is a safe uh play area correct that's right. So all of these games are in a monitored location, not location, room, online room. Um, and you only get access to the room if you are playing in that match and they are monitored by employees and referees. So uh, yes, kid friendly for sure. Awesome. All right. Turning our attention over to youth sports and uh, uh, fence. Just so funny that the, the fencing one always gets me, uh, but uh, obviously it's still popular because it's back. It's back. Yeah, our last one was super popular. We actually uh, filled the two to fifth grade group. So if you want to try fencing, you know, it's an Olympic sport that I think a lot of people see and they think, wow, that's how do you even get into that? Well, here's your chance. <laughs> right it's here in here. Fitchburg Recreation. You've got it for them. Uh, it, it sounds like a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, get uh, signed up quickly as it uh, will fill up, uh, I'm sure, really fast. Uh, music Garden, uh, this is a, a one that uh, continues to be available and uh, great for uh, great for the young ones. Yeah, so this is taught by Beth Marshall. She's been working with us forever. She's got over 20 years of experience teaching music classes. Um, and she's got, you know, upcoming classes for babies, toddlers, and preschoolers. So if you're looking for a way to bond with that, you know, child in your life, this could be a great class for you guys. Awesome. Uh, we've got uh, Game Makers. Uh, this is for the Madison Metropolitan School District Day Off uh, School of Fun, uh, making games. That just sounds fun. Yeah, it's a fun uh, day, well, half day, 9 a.m. to noon for the Madison Metropolitan School District Day Off. That's going to be run by CI Pediatric Therapy um, staff members. So it's going to be tailored to kids of all abilities, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Playing games, making games. There you go. And uh, maybe uh, not right in the game making, but you could make your own game through uh, coding animation. Uh, coding animation, uh, a STEM program, uh, uh, continue. These coding things, uh, we have our daughter in it. She's six. It's amazing how cool they are. Yeah, and the, the software that they use is simple. You know, these kids, it's for as young as kindergarten, can pick it up, no problem. Um, they make it really easy by having the code pre-written so it's more drag and drop than actual like 
um, matrix type stuff. Uh, but yeah, very fun. You can animate your own stories, storylines in this class, and you're going to experiment, you're going to collaborate, and you're going to learn. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's, uh, that is, as I said, it's K through uh, second and second through fifth. So uh, it is, uh, it's got the age groups in there, kindergarten, you can, uh, you can start uh, early there uh, in uh, animation or uh, coding animation. Uh, robotic juniors, uh, who doesn't like robots? Yeah, super fun. So we take Legos and we build, you know, a, a lion and we program it to roar. So it's kind of the, not only the building with the coat, with the rope, I'm getting tongue tied here. Not only the right. building with the Legos, but we're also combining in some of that coding. Um, so it's kind of best of both worlds. A lot of fun, a lot of fun designs that the kids are going to be making. Lions, um, make a, create a giant, program it to stomp or walk around. Um, yeah. A lot of fun. I, where does the roar come from? I want to know that. They must have some sort of speaker. <laughs> and when you push a button that uh, opens up and lets out a big roar. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Grandmasters of chess. Uh, chess uh, still a very popular uh, popular game. Always has been, always will be, right? Darn right. It is uh, something that is more of an intellectual kind of a mind game for sure. But chess is something that you can enjoy. You know, program starts at kindergarten, goes through fifth for this particular program, but people are playing this, you know, all the way into their old age. So it's a great way to keep your mind sharp. I think it's a game that never ages when you're talking about different games like that is a game that's the sticks through time no matter uh what age or uh, uh genre you're in for sure uh red cross uh babysitter uh training uh course uh coming up on february 18th great opportunity for uh uh kids who want to do some babysitting yeah you're gonna learn some basic child care some basic first aid uh, some safety skills um, when you are babysitting you know your siblings your cousins your next door neighbors if you're starting your own little business your babysitting business um, it's a great way to build your confidence and get those skills that you need so this is for kids that are ages 10 to 14. Yeah, and I shouldn't say kids. I should have said young adults. Uh, and you can make young your money adults, back really quick because I can queens. tell you as a parent, there are many opportunities out there right now for child care. I'm just saying. So I get uh, signed up and uh, start that business. I like that, starting a small business there. And you, like yeah. I say, you can recoup those costs really quickly. Uh, finally, yoga for all levels. Uh, still uh, got some openings here. Yeah, we've got class starting on January 3rd. So that we're filming it on January 3rd, so that is tonight. I'm not sure if it's going to air tonight, but it's always on Tuesdays. So if you just want to drop in and try one class, you certainly can. It's 15 bucks to do one, um, and it's on Tuesdays, 5.30 to 6.30 at the Fishburg Community Center, um, and we're going to be doing more sessions in February and in March, and basically every month of the year we do a session. So if you're trying to get into it, there's always a new one coming around the corner. Fantastic. Real quick, uh, Cece, the uh, winter guide is out there still. That guide is awesome. Uh, if you haven't uh, picked up your copy today, uh, what's that about uh, and how can people get their hands on it? Yeah, our, uh, our winter activity guide is out and it lists, you know, the programs that we just went over. It goes over, you know, when summer jobs are going to be open for people to apply to, um, it's going to go over park shelter rental information, community center rental information, general department info, and also scholarships. If you're looking for a little bit of help to participate in one of our programs, apply. Yeah, you guys do a great job with it, and uh, it's a great way to uh, learn more about uh, everything we got going on here from the recreation department. Finally, if people want to learn more, sign up for these great programs or uh, just give you a call to ask questions. How can they do so? Yep, you can go to our website, www.fitchburgwi.gov backslash recreation um, or feel free to call our office 608-270-4285. Happy New Year, CC. Thank you so much. And uh, hopefully we can get some people, uh, some new people in and then continue to have uh, availability for people who have been uh, taking advantage of these great programs. Yeah, come join us. It's a lot of fun.